My name is Ana Fuentes and the title of my book is uh, From the Dragon's Mouth, 10 True Stories That Unveil the Real China. As an international correspondent in Beijing, uh, you have uh, to speak about many, many issues to present uh, China to the Western world, uh, but you have very little time. For example, uh, you have to speak about the real estate boom or the inflation or about the one-child policy. But uh, in two minutes, it's difficult to uh, talk about the impact that those topics have in ordinary people's lives. So I wanted to um, be a recording machine, uh, be a microphone for the Chinese people, uh, let them speak uh, and uh, just have the bigger picture. So that was the book I would have loved to read before going to China, uh, having um, the Chinese society presented uh, through uh, 10 lenses. Uh, from an activist uh, to a prostitute, a taxi driver, a migrant worker, uh, the assistant of an international media, um, uh, a young unemployed girl uh, who is completely hooked on the internet. Um, that was uh, the China uh, I got to know uh, and it was a real privilege. Um, China is a really fascinating country, almost a continent so big and in 10 square meters you can have a private club with people drinking champagne all night and uh, migrant workers uh, um, trying to save everything to send money home. Um, it's very difficult to access uh, the different layers of society. You have to have a key. Uh, they have to trust you. Um, and Chinese are very practical. Uh, if they are not getting anything in return, sometimes they don't want to talk to you as a foreigner and as a journalist. And some of them uh, are in danger if they talk to you. Um, it was um, really striking to realize that uh, in China, in Ohio, in Madrid, people uh, have many things in common. They want to be happy and they want to provide for their families and they have fascinating stories. Um, so in a way we all come from the same place. Um, so talking to them about their dreams and expectations uh, was a challenge and a privilege and uh, uh, I also wanted to talk about all these aspects that in um, daily news we don't have time to, to talk about. For example, how uh, they deal with this family pressure to get married or um, how uh, they go to the city to work and they miss their families and that loneliness and uh, how they deal with uh, coming out from the closet, coming out of the closet and uh, mm, how they have fun when they have money and when they don't. Uh, how do they deal with censorship because some of them just are okay with it and some of them are giving their lives for a country without censorship and with civil rights um, and all of that is China.